worry, it's time to hit the long bomb, buddy. It's MLB The Show 22. Let's do it. There's always that baseball adage, right? Baseball is a game of failure. What if it's not there? Corey, we're back. It's baseball season, my friend, and we are swinging for the fences once again. <laughs> San Diego Studios is back with another MLB The Show 22. Dude, is it enough this year for you to carry on with this game? How do you feel about the latest road to the show, other game modes, Diamond Dynasty, more baseball, buddy? It's just, it's another season. Is it enough for you to carry on? You know what? I think we're going to talk about this a little more, I think a little more <laughs> technically than we did last year. I think we were just excited, especially as Xbox users to get our hands on this game finally. So we were pretty excited to get the show 21. But now that we're getting the show 22, you know, there's some things I think the player base wanted to see changed and maybe they didn't get exactly what they wanted. There is a huge list of changes this year. Um, you know, little tweaks to almost every game mode. Uh, we yeah. kind of both played different game modes so we can kind of get a feel for the entire game. Um, I myself, sure. I played March to October. I really enjoyed that game mode last year. And this year, the biggest improvement is that you can actually play it for multiple seasons, which was a huge plus because it kind of limited you and you kind of had to restart last year, which was kind of a pain in the butt. So it's nice to be yeah. able to kind of move on and with that team through those kind of situational games which i kind of like because i can jump in and jump out a lot faster but drew honestly i wanted to enjoy this more but i ran into some issues even just playing online matches i was getting dropped and there was freezing up i mean we had issues with that last year but it just i just yeah. didn't want to have it happen so soon and so early with this but i did run into some problems but honestly overall my first impressions are still good this is the best baseball oh, game that there is we'll talk about yeah. the fact that there isn't a ton of competition out there when it comes to you know really simulated <laughs> baseball so i mean san diego yeah. studio still kind of knocks this one out of the park no pun intended because this is still one of the best baseball games out there but it falls kind of flat on its face with the other sports games because every year we're kind of getting the same thing but not the same thing same problems yeah. maybe you know how'd you feel kind of overall with some of the game modes you jumped into so i jumped in my, my main focus this year was road to the show i actually started a character all over or a player all over again right i always yeah. play shortstop i love the shortstop dude it's almost like the hot corner right it's oh, almost yeah. like third base but the shortstop is a hot spot to be at and i love playing that position so i made my character like i or my ball player man oh man like i do every single season right and this year i thought this is the year i'm gonna start from scratch and then next year because i like this is what we do here i'll play for a little bit dude i'll play for the season and then i'll bounce mm -hmm. and then wait for next year's game to come back around right and then i'll get into that one and i'm gonna carry on now is the time for, for me i think to carry on my road to the show character you know i'm i'm pushing through double a i'm trying to get it into to the next league and then into the, into the majors is kind of your goal at the end of the day overall man road to the show is still just road to the show yeah. yeah they brought in you know more superstars to talk about strategy and kind of change up the pace which i thought is a great presentation you don't knock san diego studios for the presentation on the game no. at all right there's always little improvements i think that's the biggest thing there's always subtle improvements to keep tweaking and it's almost feeling like just another patch this year and it's kind of like another patch it kind of comes around but mm -hmm. at the end of the day dude this is the best baseball game around there isn't like you say there's no competition i think that's the biggest problem <laughs> yeah. my character for road to the show dude is dull he's boring no personality no life and you still got the same old boring commentator when you're in your <laughs> locker room how you're and now the coach is coming to talk to you about your batting strategy it's just like <sighs> snooze fast <laughs> it's so bad i'm like yeah. dude have you guys not watched nba 2k at all and how they do my career where your person your player has personality a life a whole story mm -hmm. yeah and they rank themselves up dude you go from college into the nba here we are mlb and i'm making my way through the ranks and i'm still the same boring dull player that i was the last <laughs> year and the year before that and the year before that so i say this every single year i review this game Yo, where do I get a good story for baseball? When can we get the struggles of trying to get it in? This year, they had, they did add. Ooh, now your your phone rings when you get in. Your phone rang. Dude, my controller's shaking. I'm playing on the PS5. It looks sick, right? It's so cool. It comes through the speaker. My phone's ringing. I'm like, yo, it's on the speaker or on the controller. This is awesome. So yeah, it's got some highs, but at the end of the day, Road to the Show is still just Road to the Show. And I'd love to see them kind of innovate on that and push that forward 
or and have our players be somebody that we can kind of actually connect with i think that's the biggest thing for me yeah i mean the only other thing i want to touch on is the fact that some of the larger i guess improvements were that we got added co-op gameplay this year 2v2 yeah, sure. 3v3 but it is kind of underbaked a little bit. There's a lot of yeah. connection issues. You can't even actually queue into a game with your friends unless you just get lucky in matchmaking. There's no way to invite people, which, I mean, it's co-op. And that's, I don't know, it seems like a miss. It's cool that it's a part of the game, but I think, honestly, maybe they could have left it out for one more year and brought it in for next year's game because I think it still needs some improvements. Maybe we'll get some patches along the way, but I just don't think it's the game mode you need to be buying this game for. Um, and maybe fair. on the positive side is the stadium creator actually got a lot better. Their user interface is way nicer to use this year than it was last year. Unfortunately, that's only available on the next gen consoles. The Nintendo Switch yeah. actually got the show this year and it does not get the stadium builder mode at all. But to be fair, if you're playing uh. it on the Switch, you're not playing for the graphics. Yeah. And we're just going <laughs> to leave it at that. But honestly, that's probably the only gripe I have with the game. And I that's still fair. had a blast playing this one. Nice. Corey, once again, we're back with more baseball. I think we've had a great time being back into our stadiums and stuff. But what do you score in this one? Honestly, I kind of had a tough time with this one because there are some improvements. Like I said, the stadium yep. creator and even March to October, one of my favorite game modes, got some positive changes. So I had a lot of fun playing this game, but it just kind of falls victim to the same things every other sports game does. So I can't yeah. give it too high of a score. I'm going with a 7.5. Oh, uh, nice. I'm a little bit higher than you. I've had a blast playing the game. It's nice to be back with MLB The Show. But again, right, They just it shows that it needs a little bit of competition out there. I think that's the biggest thing, right? You want to see some new innovations coming forward. There's always tweaks, but it just seems like it's been patched from one year to the next. So for me, dude, overall, it's an eight for me. I had a great time. San Diego Studios does a good job at keeping the typical sports games tropes from popping up too much by delivering a handful of changes for this year's game. But the question is, is it enough to keep the players coming back year in and year out? This guy's inhuman. I mean, really, he's incredible. The only comparable to him in the history of the sport is Ruth. It has been said, the man at the top of the mountain did not fall there. 